Are you going up to the ruins? Your timing is impeccable. I'm on a critical mission for the Mage's Guild, and I need assistance. These ruins contain a powerful relic, King Afrin's sword. With all the chaos in this region, the ogres, these cultists, the sword is not safe. You're smarter than you look. Yes, I need to bring King Afrin's sword back to Wayrest. The Supernal Dreamers got here first, but it's actually a good thing. Their meddling awakened the spirits of this place, who killed every last one of them. Right again. Complicating matters further, King Afrin's sword was shattered into three parts. Legend says it can only be reforged in King Afrin's tomb. If you're brave enough to find the pieces and get them reforged, there will be a reward. I'm actually jealous, you know. I've always wanted to see the ruins of King Afrin's hold. All the stories I've heard about the sword, the hold, the king himself. I'd go along, but I have no stomach for fighting the spirits of the dead. Smart and perceptive. I suppose this could be of use to you. There should be monuments in the ruins. Hold this holy symbol and pray at any of the monuments, and it should summon a fallen hero to fight at your side. There are books about the subject, you know. We don't have time for a history lesson. To summarize, Afrin was a ruthless merchant king early in the First Era. He conquered many of his neighbors, quite infamous. Honestly, that was a surprise. I was told it was a quiet place. I presume it was the supernal dreamers who disturbed the dead. Perhaps because they sought the sword, or perhaps they were only trespassing. Either way, they're all dead. King Afrin's sword was sacred. He never let anyone else touch it. We don't know how it was shattered or even if it really has magical properties. It certainly sounds like it's worth studying, though. There are no specific records of what occurred here, only vague references. King Afrin allegedly spent all his time at war. While he was away, his enemies apparently attacked Afrin's hold and killed everyone. The king himself died soon after. When they came, they took us into the courtyard. I thought you would rescue us. Where were you?
that sword. You loved it more than you ever loved me. Why, Father? Why did you abandon us? Why did you let us die?
These are sacred grounds. My sacred grounds. They are not meant for the living. Are you the one who disturbs our rest? Where did you get those? Those are mine! None may touch those save for me. That blade, that hilt, that pommel. To hold them again, please, give them to me. Ah, yes, my precious sword. To wield it again would feel so good. I should never have shattered it. I must make it whole again. I must. Why do you have these? What did you want with them? It matters not. All that matters now is that I might restore it. And hold it once again. There. The sword is whole again. It feels... It feels wrong, though. All wrong. Because... Because it was my obsession with this weapon, and the war I waged with it that ruined all that I loved. My sweet... My sweet daughter. While I fought to subjugate my neighbors, I left her here. They killed her. But it was my fault. Mira? You saw my... My Mira? My poor sweet child. I wronged her so. I worried that her spirit would not rest. I wanted to seek her out. I have been unable to enter her tomb, though. I did. Since the day I discovered what had happened, all I wanted was to beg her forgiveness. Even more than I wanted this damn sword. Perhaps now, though, perhaps I can make amends. Perhaps I can show her how sorry I am. You can help me. You can show her. You can tell her how sorry I am. If she sees the sword, she will... Maybe she will understand. Please, I beg you. Give my daughter the sword. Yes, please do. Here, take it. Perhaps it will allow her to rest. Perhaps. I should curse you, mortal, for disturbing our rest, but my spirit has never been at peace. I've walked these ruins for centuries, cursing the King's name. My father in name, but never in action. He left me here to die. Actions speak louder than words. My father was always quick to make promises, but in the end, when it mattered, he was away at war when I needed him most. An apology can't change that. His sword? His most prized possession? His most sacred treasure? He never even let anyone touch it. Is this how he hopes to find redemption? Give it to me. I would like nothing more than to destroy it. Thank you. This... His connection to the sword is so strong, I can sense his energy. I remember... There was a time when I was a little girl and he made me feel safe. I could at least speak to him, I suppose. I would give it all, Mira. The sword, the keep, the kingdom. All of it for you. I... I forgive you, Father. My sword is again broken, but this time for good, and for good purpose. She has forgiven me. You have healed a wound that was centuries old. Even the greatest empire is a desolate domain without the ones you love. I never learned that lesson in life, but I hope you have. May the eight be with you, young traveler.
Moloch grant me strength, give me steel and stone. Welcome to the Scarp. We could use your help on the battlefield. Would you join us in the fight for glory? Good, very good. Maybe along the way you would help me make my family proud? I want to come back from battle with something to remember it by. Something I can hang on the wall and tell stories about. I want a war trophy. A necklace. A necklace made of ogre teeth with big, wide bands packed with more teeth than you can count. I've got two sacks of them here at the camp, but I need more. The more, the better. Help me, and I'll help you. Don't question my orders. Just it's good you're I here. The general says the battle does not go as well as he yes, hoped. General, I told him you could help. I've had little time to search for them. the omen. Did you learn anything in Wayrest? Anything about nightmares in Gavadon? The general? If the omen were to get a hold of him, that would be very bad. Before we act, we must be sure, though. For now, we keep an eye on Gautron. Perhaps helping him defeat the ogres will flush the omen out. We need everyone we can get. Just in time. I need every able-bodied man and woman. You're carrying a weapon, so I assume you're able. You like to fight ogres? It does, and by Moloch we need you. The Iron Hand ogres have stopped us cold out there, and I can't afford to lose any more soldiers. Will you join my clan, Murtaugh clan, in this battle? We've been trying to break through the ogre lines for days. Sergeant Olfen is leading the charge. If you can help him take the tower up on the rocks, we can establish a forward command post. Then we're in striking distance to finish this thing. I brought my army here as a favor to King Emmerich, but Murtaugh clan has other battles to fight. We need to finish the Iron Hand ogres and finish them fast. May your kills be quick and many, soldier. The Iron Hands come from our side of the mountains, from Rothgar. They've plagued our efforts to rebuild Orsinium for years. Murtaugh clan has fought them more times than I can count. That's why King Emmerich asked us to come to Gavadon's aid. Both. I fought at Emmerich's side in Rancer's War. We helped drive the Reachmen from Stormhaven, and in exchange, Emmerich returned Orsinium to Orc hands. That conflict was of mutual benefit. This one isn't. Because it was Bretons who destroyed Orsinium, and now Murtaugh clan must come to their rescue? Maybe. Emric's my friend, and he's High King of the Daggerfall Covenant. But we won't forget Orsinium. Wait until next time. We... That's what we say. Our chieftain is in Rothgar, but I am proud to say I lead Murtaugh clan in battle. Centuries ago, Murtaugh clan was one of the strongest clans in Orsinium. We were nearly destroyed along with the city, but we are resilient. Some of us do, some don't. It will be decades before Orsinium regains its former glory. Many see the city as a reminder of past defeats. Nonetheless, Murtaugh clan works to rebuild it and to defend it from the Iron Hand ogres. didn't work. Time to come up with a new plan. Again. What went wrong? I'll tell you what went wrong. I was trained to fight ogres, not rocks. We can't even get to the ogres. It's those damn boulders they're throwing. Every time we try to charge across, another one of my soldiers gets smushed. Did he? You can't fly, can you? Sure would make it easier. Failing that, if you're willing to make a run for it, I'll cheer you on. From back here. One tip. 
Don't run in a straight line. Zigzag. Hide behind the rocks and you just might make it. If you can make the ridge, I bet 50 gold those ogres fall back. Take my warhorn. If you get across, climb the tower and blow the horn. That will signal us to move up and establish a forward command post. Guts and glory, friend! soldiers to stand down, Sergeant. When the reinforcements come, we march south. Stand down? What do you mean? This is our chance to finish the ogres off. Sergeant Olfen's impressed. Says you've got guts and you're fast on your feet. Assuming you can fight, I think we found the hero to finish these ogres off. Ha! Huh. There won't be an attack. I don't have the soldiers to spare. Abbot Durak says you're a champion, though, and I trust him. I believe you can do this on your own. The ogre's leader is called Skull Crusher. He's big, he's mean, and he's nasty, but you can take him. I would send soldiers to help you, but another battle is brewing, and they have to prepare. It's a fight that's long overdue, but it's Clan Murtaugh's fight, not yours. Your fight is with the Ogres. I need you to kill Skull Crusher and stop the Ogres from coming through the mountain. The Iron Hands have been using a cavern to get through the mountains. I sent a mining team to collapse the cavern, but they never reported back. Find them and help them get it done. After that, we can clean up what's left.
you have to finish it. We were so close. Just those last three support beams and we'd have caved it in. Boom. No more ogres. There's no one left to help. <clears throat> Just me. And I'm spent. Get through the ogres and you could do it alone, though. A pickaxe to the support beams down there will bring the whole place down. Smash them, and then run for your life. Just down the hill, Shamar Lorga had one. When we ran, the ogres followed him. I... I heard his screams. His pickaxe should be there. I'd give you mine, but it's all I have to defend myself. If the ogres see me, I at least want to go down swinging. <sighs> all right. Take it. If you come back and I'm dead, though, I still want it back. I want to be buried with it. It's always brought me luck. Hope it does the same for you. For all of us. You did it! I couldn't believe it when I heard the crash, but you brought the whole place down. Almost cost you your life. I searched through the rubble, was just about to give up. I'm glad I found you, though. After what you did, it was an honor. You shut them down. Our soldiers cleared out the stragglers, no more iron hands. I know General Godron will want to see you. You smell of ogre blood and victory, friend. You have the teeth? Aha, good work. Generations of orcs will admire what you've helped create. Heard more good news as well. General Godron said there's another battle coming. Bring it on, I say. So you survived. I worried you were buried along with the ogres. For collapsing that cavern, you deserve a medal. Unfortunately, though, General Godron's in no condition to hand out awards. I... I don't know. When he heard the cavern collapse, he declared mission accomplished for the Iron Hand ogres. But then he ordered me to muster the troops and prepare to march on Wayrest. I don't understand what happened to the general. But I will say he just hasn't been himself lately. If there's anything I can do to help him, please let me know. They're just upstairs. 
I know Abbot Durak will be relieved to see you. He said to send you up right away when you return. Whatever's going on, I hope you can help General Godron. He's like a... The omen has pulled Godron into a deep sleep. Praise Azura. I was losing faith. You were right about General Godron. The omen of betrayal has the general in its grips. He was going to betray Emmerich and attack Wayrest. This was Vermina's ultimate plan, to destroy the Daggerfall Covenant. It sounds like her omen has been twisting the general's mind, convincing him to betray King Emmerich. I suspected the omen was manipulating events toward that end, but by defeating the ogres, you exposed its plan before it was ready. No. Vermina and her minions still have the general in their grips. You've done this before, so I think you should do it again. We need to get Godron back. Don't question my orders. Just tell the commander we need more soldiers and more supplies. Yes, General. If you say we need them, then we need them. Sorry, General. We can't deploy so many against the Iron Hand Ogres. Why do you ask for three regiments? Vengeance. Emmerich, trust me. I can make Wayrus suffer as Orsinium did. allies, but don't forget who's in charge. Of course, General. After we sack Wayrest and kill the King, you can have the city. We just want the people. I wish your presence in Quagmire. Come to me. You mortals, always such high aspirations. You dream of interfering with my plans, 
But it is a fantasy. Do you really think my manipulations would be so vulnerable? You are not even a hindrance. The success of the omens was never critical. This was a daydream. The nightmare begins now. You fool. You protected your general, but you sacrificed your king. Once again, you return safely from the dream, bringing one of Vermina's victims back with you. General Gartrum seems to be feeling himself again. King Emmerich? That... that is bad. We just received word that the king has fallen ill. It cannot be a coincidence. Vermina is raising the stakes. She makes a final bid for power by assaulting our king. King Emmerich falling ill cannot be a coincidence. Vermina is raising the stakes, making a final bid for power by assaulting the king himself. I am out of my league. I will go to the king's side, but we must seek Azura's help. You must go to Azura's shrine of the Weeping Giant. It has been defiled, and I fear the supernal dreamers are involved. Regardless, the shrine must be cleansed. That is certain. To cleanse the shrine, you need to get glow dust from the wisps on the eastern shore. That and the rare mineral azurite from the northern hills. Cleanse the shrine and pray for Azura's guidance. She will send it.